should have been a clue that anyone that inspires that level of crazy uh, probably shouldn't have gotten out of the dating phase. When they was busy partying with the Martins, then they switched over from the Martins to uh, uh, Mark Anthony and Jennifer Lopez, and then the kiss happened on Hawthorne, her show got canceled, Mark and Jennifer broke up, all of this shit was going on, like all of these motherfuckers be doing all of this wild shit. <sighs> they ain't doing as much, I guess, now because they're getting older, I guess it just moved over to the Wade house. Energy transfers, energy and transfers. And I'm not saying that because, I'm not saying that because of their trans daughter. I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front till they went to the back and it was a bunch of old and young boys back there all ass naked in the Wade house. So I find it funny that Gabrielle's sitting there talking about Boosie. Maybe you suspicious of him because of the that's happening in your house. Out of here. Maybe she should be more concerned about what's going on under her roof. It appears Gabriel Union is seeking revenge after revealing that her soon-to-be ex-husband, Dwayne Wade, is gay and living abroad. Following yet another instance of Dwayne cheating on Gabrielle, he seems to be attempting to win her back by divulging every bit of information he can. She appears to have finally confirmed his claims of being gay, and there's a lot of truth coming out. I've made many mistakes, failed publicly, and failed in my marriage. Now that things are seemingly clearing up a bit in Gabriel Union and Dwayne Wade's relationship, or whatever it is now, I urge you to pay close attention and get the details. For a while, people on the streets have been talking about their divorce and speculating about what went wrong. According to recent insider leaks, I failed big, and I failed very publicly, and I failed at marriage. We now have the answer. Dwayne Wade's extramarital affairs led to the marriage's demise, and Gabrielle had had enough of hiding it. These accusations of Dwayne Wade's infidelity with Gabrielle date back to their early dating days. One of his many flings spilled the beans, saying, It's not just me. I have my own thing going on with Dwayne, and it's true, he's fantastic in bed. However, I would never take him as seriously as Gabrielle does. He's always flying around, buzzing with bees, and sleeping with them. When things aren't as they seem, they like to pretend to be Michelle and Barack. She went on, every time some gossip surfaces, they have to prove how genuine they are to the media. Clearly he has plenty of relationships with women, and everyone he interacts with knows this. Gabrielle either turns a blind eye or is incredibly naive, which I find hard to believe. It seems that Dwayne was not only having affairs with women but also with certain men. Long-standing rumors about Dwayne being on the down-low have circulated, but little attention has been paid to the circumstances. After all, he was already married to someone else when he began seeing Gabrielle. Even after splitting up with Gabrielle, he managed to impregnate another woman within months. However, according to rumors, he was using these women as beards to disguise the truth. Please understand that I'm not saying he didn't genuinely care for these women at some point. Rather, I think he may have had feelings for both and had a unique kind of love for them. But keeping his secret was his top priority. Now, do you remember when they broke up and he cheated on her with her? Years later, Gabriel spoke about how devastated she was by his behavior, saying, we weren't in a good place when the child was conceived. But when he finally told me about the pregnancy, we were doing much better. Saying I was devastated doesn't begin to describe it. Some strangers I'll never meet have expressed disappointment, that I haven't shared that trauma with them earlier. I didn't have the words then, and even after countless hours of therapy, I'm not sure I do now. People always found it strange that she took him back after the breakup. However, a recent theory suggests that Gabriel left him after learning about his sexual orientation. He managed to convince her it was all a misunderstanding and that he was genuinely straight, which is why she took him back after he had a child. This might also explain why, according to some, Dwayne hurriedly married her a few months after they reconciled, trying to persuade her before she changed her mind. Some speculate he might have planned the pregnancy deliberately to convince Gabrielle it wasn't an accident, as he claimed. What are the odds, really? Fans have now noticed something intriguing about these two. Their daughter, Xavier, is seldom mentioned. Although there's much to say about Dwayne, he's undoubtedly an excellent father, at least of his other three children. In addition to being a great dad to his other kids, he's been a fierce advocate for Zia, his transgender daughter. 
Dwayne even went to court with his ex-wife so Zia could express herself freely. For Xavier though, it's just neglect. And just to clarify, before you assume he neglects Xavier because he might not like Xavier's mother, let me correct you. Prior to Xavier's mother becoming pregnant, they were longtime friends. It doesn't make sense because he clearly despises his first wife, Shavin Fudges, yet lavishes attention on their two children. Plus, if he wanted a child for convenience, it makes sense to choose a close friend as the mother, right? Fans now believe Gabrielle had her doubts, but he managed to convince her to accept the child. After that, they reconciled, and for a while, fans saw them as the epitome of black love in the film industry. What could go wrong when they appeared to be deeply in love and highly successful? Apparently, a lot could go wrong. Like when Gabrielle mentioned in an interview that they split their expenses evenly. It feels odd to say I'm the head of the household because even though we split everything 50 50ths, there's always this pressure in other families I support, pushing me to get my work done. You have to get to work. The fact that Duane earns significantly more than Gabrielle has caused a stir among the public. He's over four times wealthier than her, with a net worth of $170 million compared to her $40 million. So it's puzzling why they're following this 50 50th arrangement when, considering the income gap, he should be contributing more. But things got even worse when Gabrielle revealed that she pushed for the equal split, based on something he said during a heated argument. It's weird to say I'm head of household, because in this household, we split everything 50-50. But in the other households that each of us have to support, it puts this, there's always this like gorilla on your back that it is like, you better work. You better work. You better work. Oh, and remember when I mentioned that fans believe he fathered a child to convince her he wasn't gay? For the first few years of their marriage, Gabrielle went to great lengths to keep her finances separate from his, suggesting she still had doubts. In an interview, she said, the prenuptial agreement and my insistence that everyone enters the relationship knowing I'm here for them and they're here for me will be the biggest differences between. This and my previous marriage, she also mentioned that since she's never balanced a checkbook, she has to safeguard her assets because they're her future. We decided together, because I think I said one time when we was in Miami, I said something about it being my house that I paid for. Uh oh I looked at me, she was like, you will never say that to me again when it's something that we share. And so my wife was like, that when we move to LA, I got half on it. You will never say my house again. Wow. People found this a bit odd, but it pales in comparison to the shock we felt when Jaguar Wright revealed that Dwayne was hosting gay pool parties at his house and was on the down low. They recently moved to the Wade residence, so they might not be as active as they once were. Energy shifts, and I'm not saying this because of their transgender daughter, Additionally, this week, the gossip blog Don't Moy revealed more details about Dwayne's infidelity and Gabrielle's decision to end the marriage due to her pain. According to the blog, Dwayne is quite close to a woman, not Gabrielle. He was seen getting cozy with her, spending two hours in deep conversation. Gabrielle has posted some intriguing posts on Instagram as well. Evolution can only happen when there is truth, honesty, and clarity. Gabrielle just shared a picture of her daughter on Snapchat. I'll stop at nothing for her piece. They added, I got a message from someone else saying that Dwayne continues to post pictures with the kids instead of Gabrielle. Only their daughter has been featured on Gabrielle's posts. Their other children have not. They're expected to follow in Will and Jada's footsteps, according to an insider. If they do separate, they'll keep it private and lead separate lives. But hold on. Things are about to get even crazier. Turns out the woman Dwayne was seen with was actually a male transvestite. An informant said Gabrielle is tired of covering up and pretending nothing happened. She knows Dwayne has gained weight from being with men. According to insiders, Gabrielle is truly upset about this. This is the real reason she's consulting divorce attorneys. She wants to figure out the best course of action. Despite maintaining appearances for their daughter, she finds it repulsive that Dwayne would use her as a cover. They no longer wear their wedding rings, a clear sign to fans. But as expected, the streets are buzzing with this entire drama, with comments like, and she was footing half the bill. He's still playing around. Given that she made this decision after he had a child outside the marriage, I can't feel sorry for her. I still find it unbelievable 
that Dwayne Wade is gay, but it doesn't shock me. Did Gabrielle think she was the only one who could tame Dwayne? Gabrielle disrespected Dwayne's first wife terribly. She entered a marriage that ended in divorce. She was involved in that. Now, it's coming back to haunt her. He's still cheating even though she's now the wife. Maybe this major scandal is karma's way of evening the score, but who knows? It's pretty wild, but I want to know what you all think about this. Do you believe Gabrielle will accept Dwayne back, or do you think she'll leave him over this? Please share your thoughts and comments below, then watch the next video.